what is today on today's situation welcome everyone to today's situation where we answer what is today and what happened on this day today's situation is a short daily show all about giving you the facts hey it's all about learning and having fun let's get started famous holidays and observances for april 29th Today is known as International Dance Day. In 1982, the Dance Committee of ITI founded International Dance Day to be celebrated every year on the 29th of April, the birthday of Jean Georges Novaire, who was the creator of modern ballet. The intention of the International Dance Day message is to celebrate dance, revel in the universality of this art form, cross all political, cultural, and ethnic barriers, and bring people together with a common language known as dance. You can learn more about it by clicking the link in the description below. Today is International Noise Awareness Day. Recipe for a quiet day. Take these simple steps from the center for hearing and communication to preserve the peace and quiet in your life. Pay attention to the noises you make and respect your neighbor's right to peace and quiet. Turn down the volume two notches on your radios and personal stereo systems with headphones. Today is Peace Rose Day. The Peace Rose, formerly Rosa Madame A. Melan, is a well-known and successful garden rose. By 1992, over 100 million plants of this hybrid tea have been sold. The cultivar has large flowers of a light yellow to cream color, slightly flushed at the petal edges with crimson pink. It is hardly invigorous and relatively resistant to disease, making it popular in gardens as well as in the floral trade. Viral Video Day a Viral video is a video that becomes popular through a viral process of internet sharing, typically through video sharing websites such as YouTube, as well as social media and email. Viral videos may be serious and some are deeply emotional, but many more are centered on entertainment and humorous content. If you're enjoying this content, please remember to like and subscribe, and thank you. Now back to the commentary. In 1862, the New Orleans fell to the Union forces during the United States Civil War. In 1864, the Battle of Gate Pa happened. 1,700 British troops suffered their worst defeat of the New Zealand wars at the hands of 230 entrenched Maori warriors in Toranga. In 1916, the Irish Republicans abandoned the post office in Dublin and surrendered unconditionally, marking the end of the Easter Rising. In 1945, the United States Army liberated 31,601 people from the Dachau Nazi concentration camp in Germany. In 1975, during Vietnam War, the United States began to evacuate its citizens from Saigon in Operation Frequent Wind in response to advancing North Vietnamese forces, bringing an end to the United States' involvement in the war. In 1990, wrecking cranes began tearing down the Berlin Wall at the Brandenburg Gate. In 1991, a cyclone struck the Chittagong district in Bangladesh, killing 139,000 people and leaving 10 million people homeless. In 1997, the Chemical Weapons Convention of 1993 comes into force and then outlaws production, stockpiling, and the use of chemical weapons among its signatories. Famous birthdays for April 29th. April 29th, 1803. James Brooke was born on this day, known as the White Raja Brooke. He was a British adventurer who exploited in Borneo and dealings with the Sultan of Brunei led to the creation of the independent state of Sarawak, now an autonomous state within the Federation of Malaysia. Brooke himself became the first Raja of Sarawak and ruled the small independent state from 1841 to his death in 1868. April 14, 1951, William Randolph Hearst was born. He was an American businessman, newspaper publisher, and politician known for developing the nation's largest newspaper chain and media company called Hearst Communications. His flamboyant methods of yellow journalism influenced the nation's popular media by emphasizing sensationalism and human interest stories. 
Hearst entered the publishing business in 1887 with Mitchell Trubit after being given control of the San Francisco Examiner by his wealthy father, Senator George Hearst. April 29, 1933, Willie Nelson was born, an American country music singer and songwriter. Willie Nelson is also an author, poet, actor, and activist. Famous passings for April 29th. April 29, 1864, Abraham Gessner passed. He was the inventor of kerosene. Although Ignacy Lukacewicz developed the modern kerosene lamp, starting the world's oil industry, he is considered a primary founder. April 29, 1980, Alfred Hitchcock passed. He was an English film director, producer, and screenwriter. He is one of the most influential and widely studied filmmakers in the history of cinema, known as the master of suspense. He directed over 50 feature films in a career spanning six decades, becoming as well known as any of his actors thanks to his many interviews, his cameo roles in most of his films, and his hostings and producing of the television anthology Alfred Hitchcock Presents between the years 1955 to 65. His films garnered 46 Academy Award nominations, including six wins, although he never won for Best Director, despite having had five nominations. April 29, 2006, John Kenneth Galbraith passed. He was one of the most widely read American economists. John Kenneth Galbraith wrote economist texts that were also bestsellers. Of his 33 books, his best known works are American Capitalism from 1952, The Affluent Society from 1958, and The New Industrial State in 1967. Galbraith was a liberal who supported government spending and criticized the increasing wealth gap in society that we are currently experiencing today. What is the wealth gap? According to a June 2015 report by the International Monetary Fund, or IMF for short, the widening income inequality is the defining challenge of our time. In advanced economies, the gap between the rich and the poor is at its highest level in decades. Inequality trends have been more mixed in emerging markets and developing countries (EMDCs), with some countries experiencing declining inequality, but pervasive inequities in access to education, healthcare, and finance remain. This has been today's situation. Thank you for joining us. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.